Hey guys, this is Jen Haley. I wanted to let you know a little bit about this website in case you didn't have a whole lot of time to look through things. So um, this website is basically a digital portfolio for you to take a look into what I've been doing since I've been working at North Union and what I did before I worked at North Union. So take a peek around. Um, there's a lot of different things that you can click on. Like for example, you can click on this resume right here so you can see it in a PDF version larger. Um, same with the formal resume down here at the bottom. You can click on either of those images and it'll make it larger in a PDF version. This was the video resume that I had sent with um, my credentials and my application when I originally applied for the chief academic officer position. If you click the About tab, you are going to see uh, just a little bit about me, my history, and where I'm coming from. Um, on the contact page is just obviously how you can contact me either by phone or email, and there's my address. Uh, under this Leadership tab, I've done a lot of different things. So if you click on the Leadership tab itself, you're going to see a quote about leadership from Bill Bradley. And then if you scroll down, you can see my take on each of these uh, little categories that I've included into this leadership section. So if you look at each of these categories, you can actually click on the picture and it's going to take you to another screen. In each of those screens, you're going to see some different things um, that I feel are important in each of those categories. So for example, the vision here, it talks a little bit about how uh, my vision is the same as our district vision. You can read the district vision here. Um, and anywhere you see gray text, that is a link to another website URL or um, a Google Doc or something like that. So feel free to click on any of those things there. So there's a little bit about those things um, under that tab. Under Courage, you are going to learn about what I did before I was a teacher. Um, I worked in the business industry for many years, 10 years to be exact, um, before I was a teacher. So this is just a little bit about that history and the types of things that I did when I was working there. And then you can click through this photo gallery and you can see some of the advertisement type kind of work that I did for print and online advertising. Um, under the integrity uh, tab, you're going to see my letters of recommendation from Mrs. Jessica Lenka, Mrs. Jody Hoffman, and Mrs. Sharon Hager. I was able to get those three letters of recommendation since I have applied for this position. Under the humility tab, you are going to be able to take a peek at my third grade data sheet. This is my baby. Um, I did a video on that. So if you'd like to see a little bit more, you're welcome to watch that video. And it talks a little bit about the social emotional learning committee that I am on. Um, we're doing some training down in Columbus with CASEL. Um, that's been some pretty insightful um, training that I'm really excited about. And I'd like to implement some of that stuff district wide, not just in my classroom. Um, if you go down to strategic planning, you are going to see um, information about our strategic plan, which was on our website for 2017 and 18. I'm sure that this is fairly similar for 2018, 2019. And then I've created an entry plan, which the file is here, but you can just scroll down and look at each of these images for what I would propose to be um, a 90 day entry plan if I were to get this position. So some different things that I could do um, trying to prepare for the year. And it actually kind of goes more than 90 days. It kind of goes year wide. Um, but anyway, you can take a peek at that. I took this information from someone else. So obviously it can be completely altered as needed. If you look at the focus tab, you're gonna see some more cool things that I've worked on. Um, I helped my team simplify writing our REMPs. So um, this is just a, a example of how I've streamlined a process to make it quicker for the teachers to do. And another thing, again, streamlining processes here is third grade schedules that we've created. Those are both mail merge situations. And if you go to the last tab under that, which is cooperation, you can see my other great baby, which is the third grade um, math curriculum map. I would love to implement something like this for all the grade levels, but it would take a lot of time. So um, those are some things that you might wanna check out, uh, particularly when you are not with me, <laughs> because it's gonna take some time to take a look. Under the literacy tab, I know that with this position, it is going to be important for us to have someone who has a background in literacy. Now, my um, my degree is only pre-K through three, um, but 
just because I'm not a literacy expert doesn't mean that I can't help, that I'm not good for this type of a position. So what I've done here is I've taken a look at literacy um, over the last four years, and I've kind of analyzed that information and just what I know from the third grade. So um, this is kind of the steps that I would take to kind of help see what's going on. I've taken our state test scores and I've um, kind of compounded those and I've done um, some trend lines and things like that to take a look at that. Um, something I have worked on is I was not on the literacy team, but I worked on this elementary literacy criteria checklist. So in order to figure out what students were getting what interventions. So again, if you wanna see that document close up, you can click on this picture. And then also I've located Ohio's plan to raise literacy achievement and I have linked that document right here. So I would probably make myself pretty aware of that document if I were to get this position. Under the data tab, you can see that I have put our past two report cards. Um, I will add the 2017 and 18 report card here when it is available. Unfortunately, it has not been officially released yet. Um, but here are those scores information here. Um, I put the math on this one as well. So you can see the math and the reading information. Here's that student data sheet again. Here's that curriculum map again, the RIMP writing process and those schedules. So you can see how I use data. And the last tab is about professional development. So here are some ideas on how to increase professional development among our staff and how to increase attendance of our community um, to these events that we are offering through in university. So you can read through that and see what some of my ideas are and um, see what I think would be helpful. So anyway, so there's the site. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call and I hope to talk to you soon.